what's up you checking out the frequent flyer it's about seven in the morning and it looks like this out here it's very foggy kind of dark and perfect for testing out this thing this is the sharper image glow stunt drone from Walmart and it's supposed to glow up and everything it does have really nice lights and everything I have flown it and so we're gonna check this thing out outdoors now I will say that I tried this indoors the first time I fired it up it was acting really weird it wouldn't hold this altitude it was going to the ceiling and it just wouldn't stabilize and everything but I did put it on the ground and do a calibration and that seems like it uh, fixed everything so it was holding this height after the calibration and everything uh, so I'm bringing it out here to see if this thing flies right so we're going to check out this sharper image glow stunt drone from Walmart it does have really nice controls and all everything is labeled all the buttons and everything let's get this guy up in the air The battery is non-removable, guys. So I am going to calibrate it again. We calibrated both sticks to the lower inside corner. Both sticks to the outside corners brings it up in the air. Hopefully this guy doesn't fly away. And it's not flying away. We're in low rates with it now. That's the yaw in low rate. It's a really slow yaw. <laughs> Green is in the front though. can not say that. One thing they got going right with it. That's side flying aileron. Forward and backwards flight. Forward right here. Green is in the front. I got a different mount for the camera on my hat, so hopefully everything is in shot. So let's go up and read. So we're in second read. This is side flying aileron, forward flight, backwards flight. Bring it down a little bit. Look at the yaw. This is the yaw. Uh, <laughs> so very slow still. It's on third read now. Let's look at the yaw on third. Yaw is a little better. This is forward flight. So it does get a little sporty. Backwards flight. Forward. Backwards side flying so the aileron is good so not bad the pitch isn't very deep but it does get going out here and the yard is not too bad either check it out let's bring it back looks like the range might not be that good <laughs> because it leveled out and I wasn't leveling out that's a hint that the signal was lost for a second there at least. So that's a flip. It does do nice flips, it looks like. Yep. Flips in all directions. So it's it's a pretty decent flyer. Not bad. It could use a little more pitch. Um, I, I'm not sure if this thing has headless mode on it. Let me try to look at the transmitter. It is hovering pretty nicely. Holding this altitude. It's not going to stay in place because it doesn't have um, optical sensor on the bottom. It doesn't have an optical flow camera on it. Let's see. There's an emergency stop on there. Okay, it says auto orientation. I'm guessing that's headless mode. Let's try it. Yes, yeah, headless mode. So, looks like this is the front here. Flying it back towards me. 
Just going to the left, going to the right. All successfully while, while I'm uh, yawing constantly. And this is not losing this heading. I don't know how it got this heading though, that the front is towards this way. I don't think I had it facing that way when I uh, plugged it in. Let's come out of headless mode. Really foggy out here today. And this thing is flying pretty good. So it lights up really well. I don't know if fog interferes with the reception, <laughs> but it is leveling out a little. Uh, a few times when I was just adding, giving input, it did try to level out on me. Check out the speed on it. So it gets going. I wouldn't take it any further than when I'm taking it here. <laughs> Seems like a pretty decent flight time. Hopefully everything is in shot here. Birds are singing out here. They seem to approve of it. <laughs> so it has altitude hold. You can't turn off altitude hold. You know, a lot of us don't really like altitude holes, but a lot of people do like altitude holes. It's very easy to fly with altitude hold on, so very easy for a beginner to pick up and stay in the air. One less thing to worry about for a beginner is keeping it in the air, and throttle management is the hardest thing when you're learning to fly. I recommend learning to fly without altitude hold, but if you just want to pick up and fly, this is easier. A lot easier. Do some flicks. See if we can kill the battery. Cause this thing is flying pretty long. <laughs> I just laughed cause Vortex Ring State tried to get me a little. I powered out of it. <laughs> So pretty decent flyer. I would recommend uh, recalibrating it every time you take it out to fly because this guy was hitting the ceiling when I tried to fly it indoors. I don't know if that was a first time thing, but I wouldn't take I wouldn't take any chances with this guy outdoors without recalibrating it because it was only stopping. When it hit the ceiling, it would, it would just go up in the air and I had no control over stopping it from going up. There is an emergency stop on it though. Oh, it's getting weak. The lights are not flashing for LVC, but it's getting very weak. I can feel it. This is full throttle here. And it's barely going up. And it's going down now. Let's see if it'll flip in this state. Oh, it start flashing for LVC, right? when I was about to try to flip. Let's try emergency stop. Emergency stop, you have to hold it and it does turn it off. Well, it doesn't turn it completely off, but it stops the motors. So, the Sharper Image Glow Stunt Drone is a pretty decent flyer, not bad. Uh, I would recommend it as long as you recalibrate it before every flight to recalibrate it was to put both sticks into the inside lower corners and it holds its height pretty well and it lights up really nicely. The Sharper Image Glow Stunt Drone. I will give it a go. Thanks for watching.